In these problems, we're doing some system of equation type stuff, but with variables that have subscripts. And this can throw people off, but it's really not any more difficult than any other type of variable. You would read this variable as r sub a, and this variable as t sub a. They're two different variables. It doesn't matter that they both have sub a. It doesn't matter that both of these next two have sub b. You could think of this as a times b plus c times d. Um, they're just other names for, for variables. And then they give us this information. Um, those two together equal 44. R sub a is 4. R sub b is 6. T sub a is 5. And they want us to find T sub b. So really, the way to go about this just is to start subbing in. We have R sub a plus T sub a. Well, they're telling us R sub a and T sub a. R sub a is 4. T sub a is 5. So this is 4 times 5 plus R sub b is 6. And uh, then we have T sub b. And they told us this whole thing that I'm writing out right here equals 44. So what I just wrote down here is this with all the numbers they gave us just subbed in. And they want us to find or solve for T sub b. And that should be a piece of cake. So 4 times 5 is 20. Then we have 6 times T sub b equals 44. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. That gives me over here 6 times T sub b equals 24. And I simply divide both sides by 6. And I get T sub b equals 4. Just like any other kind of algebra problem, it's just different names for variables. Let's try this next one. It's a little harder. This one says R sub a times T sub a equals R sub b times T sub b. R sub a equals 3. R sub b equals 4, T sub b equals 7 minus T sub a. So what we're going to do here, then they want us to find T sub a and T sub b. We're going to start rewriting this equation and substituting stuff in. So R sub a times T sub a. We only have R sub a here, not T sub a. So we'll put in R sub a, oops, sorry, 3 for R sub a times T sub a equals well, we have r sub b, that's 4, 4 times t sub b, and t sub b equals 7 minus t sub a. So I'm going to put that in, 7 minus t sub a. And suddenly what we have now is a, an equation with just one variable in it, t sub a. So let's go ahead and solve for that. We've got 3 times t sub a equals, well, 4 times, we'll distribute this, 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times a negative t sub a is negative 4 t sub a. And let's see, I'm going to add 4t sub a to both sides. I get 7t sub a equals 28. And then I divide by 7, and I get t sub a equals 4. But we wanted to find t sub a and t sub b, so we'll take this and we'll plug it back in this equation right here. Because t sub b equals 7 minus t sub a, which is 4, well, t sub b equals 3. So that's a little bit of work with equations with subscripted variables.